Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. Are y'all ready for this? Our long-awaited renovation tour? Of our 2005 Northern Light 10-2. So I'm going to start with the outside and Carla's going to show you the inside but uh, we're going to go ahead and do a walk around to kind of show you some of the things uh, that we've done on the outside. We're not going to get into great detail but just kind of, kind of go over them and then uh, we'll go inside and check it out. But to start with outside, uh, when we first got it, the camper was terribly dirty so the very first thing we did was wash it and, uh, and uh, a, a deep wash at that. So. Uh, we really scrubbed it and power washed and that sort of thing. But then uh, the second thing we did was I wanted to start by sealing the roof. So we uh, got some sealant and sealed all of the, uh, the vent covers and around the AC and, and uh, everything up there. Put on two new uh, vent caps and, and all that as well because uh, that's where some water was getting in. Uh, that uh, caused a lot of the damage and the repairs that we had to get into. But we'll talk about that later. So the outside here, um, we did have it professionally polished um, as we did a video on that. And if, so if you're in the Atlanta area and need somebody to polish your camper, look that video up. We'll um, link to it up there. Yeah, look, look for it up there or up there, wherever. Yeah. And uh, so he did a great job on polishing it, but uh, I also went around and resealed every window and resealed the, the band here, top and bottom all the way around and uh, we took off some stickers on the front there was a sticker right here that had a northern light uh, the two geese right here i took that off and uh, took the, the the big northern light sticker off the front up there and uh, we were planning on putting um, our own uh, runway roses sticker up there but um, we're not going to be doing that any longer because uh, we're not going to be keeping this camper. We're going to, we are going to be selling it, and uh, but for now we're going to uh, just hang on to it until we put it up for sale. So um, as we walk on around, uh, one of the things that that we did do with this camper was uh, we had to repair the uh, the jack system on it, and all of these motors uh, we sent in to Happy Jack and and they refurbished them and then I put them all back on and then I got a new control module that was a remote control because the original one being 15 years old uh, it was a wired remote and this one was actually a wireless remote so and those have been working fantastic and, the, and they're it's just so much easier than Manual. hand, hand, yeah manually hand cranking these things so so that, that's been a, a real blessing that they did that. And that was a very reasonable price as well. So um, let's see, as we walk on around, uh, this side I haven't really done much other than clean it up, polish, polish the camper, seal it up. Um, this in here is the, that's the battery spot. That'll actually hold two batteries. We just have one battery in there. And uh, that's just a little, some, tape I put on there just trying to keep the water out uh, while I was washing it but uh, probably take that off and um, the back end is big yeah the, the the back end is you know it's large it has a canopy over over the door which is nice keeps the, the rain off of you uh, as you come out um, the, the rain or the back end had it had multiple stickers all over it and it had some license plates mounted to the door and screwed into the wall and uh, so we removed all that got all the adhesive stuff off the back of it and uh, just cleaned it up sealed the holes and um, and then i've actually had did a lot of of the basement uh wood repair down in here uh, but i've also re replaced um, all the doors uh, with new sealant and all that, so they've all been redone. But uh, we'll look at the basement shortly. The we painted the, the bumper and, and refinished the, the, the step. 
and uh, put on a new set of uh, folding steps down here. So that's been really nice because the old ones are, were in rough shape. So um, put all new bulbs in and all the lights all the way around. Re redid all those. Those had moss growing in them. Yeah, they had some moss growing inside them. So we cleaned them out and, and uh, yeah, now, now they work, they work great. Put a new uh, LED light, uh, outside light up there. So on the left side, um, basically the same as far as polish and sealed all the windows, but I've also resealed all of these doors. I've removed that door. I've uh, removed this. I've put a new outdoor shower uh, faucet in there. Um, resealed the whole band as well. And uh, let's see, took this out. That's just like a little, little storage area that can't put a whole lot in there. It's just like a little tube, but uh, we, we never even put anything in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this area is the, the water compartment area, and that's where I've re-plumbed all the, all the water stuff down in there, and, and uh, that's been working out great. We've repainted some of the, cleaned up some of the, the legs on the Happy Jacks uh, as well. And uh, there's the vent caps here. Yeah, there's the two vent caps that we replaced. Now they're around back again. I'll go ahead and show you the, the basement area. These two areas are where a lot of the water damage was originally, but uh, we've got it all fixed up and they're good and solid and, and dry and, and uh, it's been great. Probably even stronger than it was before. It's getting a little dark, so I gotta use a flashlight here, but you can see there, I, I've actually got a new board in there. I need to paint it black, really, but, um, and then got all uh, oak, uh, three quarter inch oak in there as well as in the floor for the, all the structural area and this is where so that's just storage this is actually just storage now as well but this used to be the uh, generator area but uh, the connections are still there for the gas and and the power um, but the it's just storage now so and it actually makes for a good long storage there yeah that was originally blocked off so i opened it up framed it out and got some of the wires out of the way so we can uh, have some extra storage and put some chairs or or whatever in there that was a big one that was the big that was a big job, yeah, fixing that whole uh, lower area down there. If you watched any of the old videos, uh, you'll know, or if you haven't, you can go back and check those out because um, that was a really big job. It got really wet down there because of the uh, vent caps up on top. A lot of the water went down uh, from up top and uh, sealed off some other stuff around here as well. So once I tore it all out, rebuilt it, and it's probably stronger than it ever was, really. So it, it's been great. But uh, that's the outside. So we're going to go on in, let Carla show you the inside. Now that we're inside, I'm going to show you what we did inside the camper. So uh, starting on this end, um, we ordered this plexiglass mirror uh, from a place online. And we got it to, to fit this spot here because this didn't even have anything to begin with. So. Um, it just, it, it turned out really great and, uh, you know, I, I guess originally there was a mirror here, but it, there wasn't when we got it. Um, I painted the walls. I painted um, all the, all this end of the camper because there were some stains and things on the walls and then we just wanted it to look fresh. So, uh, did that and I put some little hangers here. I, let's see, the next thing I did was... Um, on the tops of the table and all the countertops in here, it had polyurethane over it and it was just, it had yellowed over time. So what I did was I cleaned all that off and it, it turned out great. We weren't really sure how it was gonna turn out. It turned out great and it looks like brand new. So um, we did that to all the countertops in here. Uh, one other thing I did was 
on all the cabinetry it had uh, stickers all over the front um, like the gooey stuff that you get from stickers and I went through and I cleaned all of that off of it um, I think I used goof off for that but it turned out nice and then I went back over with old English like the dark old English and I just polished it up and it, it made them look like new I mean they look great uh, let's see the hardware I replaced all the hardware on all of these they had the the old brass type um, hardware on it and so we just sort of uh, made it more modern looking and to match the faucet in here and put uh, the oil rub bronze let's see what else did I do oh the bathroom the bathroom's a biggie yeah the bathroom was a huge one um, a lot of work in there yeah so what we did in the bathroom was um, I, there was Sharpie all over the wall. It was drawings all over the wall and we weren't really sure that we were gonna be able to get those off. And so we ended up and we were able to get them off and it, it was a miracle. And it was also, there were drawings all over the toilet um, with Sharpie and so I got all of that cleaned up and then uh, Todd sealed around the, the belly of the inside of the shower, you'll see. And then one other thing that um, I did was the, the mirror on the inside of the medicine cabinet it was rusty and it had like some old stuff in it and so I cleaned all that up and I painted it with rust-oleum and it looks great and actually another thing you did was you replaced the Todd replaced the um, the shower head and he put the os oxygenic shower head in here and he also ended up replacing the faucet so I'll let him do a little preview. Of yeah, that. we've actually replaced every faucet in this camper. Yeah, I even replaced the, the yes. kitchen faucet with the exact same one that was in there, but uh, yeah. we replaced the bathroom, the outside, and uh, the kitchen faucet. There is a shower curtain in the bathroom that wraps around, goes all the way around to the other side, blocks the toilet and the door and all that. And here's the wall that, this is the wall where all the Sharpie was. We, we kind of joke about this, but we say there's not one place that we did not touch in this camper to repair. And it's kind of true. Todd ended repair up- Repair or clean, clean up or, or, clean or you know, yeah. Yeah, fix yeah, up somehow. Fix up in some way. And so um, one thing that we did, uh, one other thing that we did is the oven wasn't working. And so it, not the oven, it was the, the sparker. 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 The sparker knob, knob was, was missing and it wouldn't, like we it had a thing that was there but that wouldn't turn or something yeah. it wouldn't spark so we fixed that you actually got a new sparker for it and a new knob yeah and then we repainted the top of this it was uh, all scratched up and stuff so we painted the top of that yeah so the top came out nice yeah the top came out nice i did the cabinets on this side as well we ended up we moved uh, this little shelf here over here after I painted and we put up a new paper towel holder over here because I really wanted a paper towel holder in here. And then I put the brick um, wallpaper on the back, as you'll see. Um, so the refrigerator is another thing that we, <laughs> when we first got it, it didn't work and we were a little concerned about that, but Todd ended up replacing the thermistor. And guess what? It works. Yeah. So it was all just like, you know, very minor things that were, you know, just minor repairs that needed to be done. But who knows? They could have been big. We didn't know going yeah, into Yeah, it, when so. we got this camera, I mean, we did not know whether they were big or small. And yeah. so anyway, we he, he replaced that and it ended up working. Um, another thing is this, the thermostat was not working on the um, furnace. And he replaced, we had to order one of those and he replaced that and now it works. Well, there was also... A oh, switch right. inside the furnace that was bad as well. So the cell switch. No, it wasn't the cell switch. It was the reset switch. The reset went switch went bad as well as the thermostat. So I had to kind of work my way through figuring all that out. Was you know between the you know, part in in the furnace and the thermostat. So yeah, but it works. Yep, and I washed all of these. All of the, the covers yeah, for these. because the original fabric. Yeah, the original fabric. And we just decided to go with this theme because I really didn't want to make, if you saw in one of our Bigfoot videos, I did make cushions for the Bigfoot. But 
it is just I just don't have the time to do that so we ended up using them and they look nice and so with that said I ended up finding this on Amazon and it kind of goes with our little theme here so we put that up and it said you can hang stuff on it to dry like towels and things to dry or um, you know whatever you want to up there and uh, one bonus that we that these fishing rod holders um, we actually we're thinking about taking them down, but we used them. So, you know, we just left them because we think they're pretty cool. It was pretty handy to have. Yeah. Now, we did take the ones down that were in the yeah. bedroom area over the bed. There were some more in there. So we took those down and left this one set over the dining room. It did work pretty well to bring a, fishing, a couple fishing rods with us. Yep. So another thing that I really, really love that Todd did is this, the step. Um, we put our little trademark on it Open it up. and uh it's also a storage i don't yeah. i don't was it a storage before no it was just uh, a carpeted step that it had no access i think so. in the newer northern lights it's actually um a place to put stuff yeah but, it's removable but step. but in in the older ones it wasn't so we actually made it like a storage area and that worked out awesome um, we really like that. So, let's see. Oh, one other thing we did was we added the Froley system. Um, and it's been working out great. We think that, you know, if there has been any moisture when it's been colder outside and we've used the furnace, that it's it's dried out well because it, it does leave that space there. So, and then we uh, put a new mattress in here, put the topper in here, and... Yeah, we really feel like that Froley sleep system really did its job well, and it was comfortable yes. too. I think it really added to the sleeping experience. Yeah, I think so too. And so um, I think, oh, well, one other thing I did in here was there were like little stains all over the place. And so I went through and I like cleaned those off with like oxy stuff and they came off pretty well. So it's all like clean in here. And I think it, you know, it. Uh, this camper, it looks like, if we would have gotten this camper in this condition, I, I would have been very happy with that. <laughs> yeah, we would have been camping right away. That's what we would have been doing. <laughs> yeah. But, so. Yeah. So um, I guess that's that's everything that we've done. Um, uh, here's the bed area. Yeah, the bed area. It's got a. Uh, it's kind of a skylight uh, exit hatch there over the roof. And it's got storage area on each side as well as like a uh, another cabinet there. There's one over here on this side. A nice queen size bed, 80 by 60. We love that. Love the bed. Oh, and we did put we did uh, we did put a microwave in here too, and we actually found one that fit quite nicely. So we we have a microwave in here. So uh, that's cool. Um, and there's quite a bit of storage. We love all the storage. We really have enjoyed this truck camper. It's, um, you know, we really weren't sure what to expect going into it, but but we're really, um, it's it's really been fun to camp in. It's our first truck camper and it's been fun. Yeah. It's been great, great truck camper. Yeah. Out on the road, it really is a pleasure to to drive and haul us around. Now this area here, this is called a sandwich bar. And that's that's according to the old, the old manual when we looked at it. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. It's got a sandwich bar. Yeah. And you know what? Carla made sandwiches on it too. Yeah, I sure did. Oh, one other thing we forgot to point out that's, you know, it's not really visible, but um, we did uh, repair on this with the drawers. You, the slides on them, I guess as, as you, they get older and you use them a lot, the little, brackets that connect them to the isn't that what you replaced on yeah it? the slides yeah the, the, mount, slides. the mounts yeah on he, there. he did it in like about four of the cat four of the drawers and, yeah some and, of them are broken yeah and now they're they're perfect like this camera's yeah. almost like brand new <laughs> yeah in the kitchen we um well first i cleaned up the sink and um it's a really nice sink it's like a um acrylic white double bowl sink and it's pretty deep it's 
really nice sink and then you get the little covered thing um, which actually was also had polyurethane on it so I cleaned that off too. <laughs> um, we have a really nice faucet here and um, lots of storage below the in the cabinets down there. Uh, big pot storage below the oven there. Yeah. And then also, um, this is the hot water switch. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a gas hot the ga water heater. The gas hot water heater. And over here we have um, the 12 volt plug, uh, TV jack, the, I think that's an antenna, a DV booster or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like an antenna booster thing. Uh, a couple of power outlets. This thing is full of power outlets. There's actually one over there. Um, there's yeah. one under the dinette. Yeah, it's got power under the dinette. Power and then under the dinette, and then there's one over, one over there, here. Sandwich bar. Yeah, so it's got tons of power outlets in here. Um, let's see, we got um, hood fan, the hood light. Uh, this is to turn the the water pump water pump on, and then this just shows the levels. So um, let's see. Oh, and one other thing is. Uh, you might have to show the table slides back and forth, which is pretty oh, yeah. cool. We want to show you one cool feature about the dinette. It actually, like, um, not only does it make into a bed, uh, the top sort of slides back and forth, which is pretty cool. And, and you may have seen that in one of our other videos, but you can slide it back and forth like this. So, um, like, for instance, Taylor, we'd put a blanket there, and Taylor would get up here, and we would move this over so she wouldn't bonk her head right here. Yeah, so. yeah for at <laughs> night, too, and make it easier for yeah, her to get up and down. get up and, there, yeah. So, so that's that. That's another cool feature about Northern Light. Yep, it's got uh, blinds throughout the whole camper. It actually has them here. You can't see yeah. them, but they're up here. And uh, I went through and I cleaned all of those. Yeah, took them all <laughs> all off, down. Took them I all scrubbed out them and, yeah. with Comet and uh, mm. put them back up. So yeah, yeah, we've we've done quite a bit of stuff to this. And and uh, this is the um, wardrobe or one of them. There's actually three wardrobes in here. This is the the I guess more like a coat closet when you come to the camper. Um, this yeah. is where we kept our cleaners, yeah. little cleaner cabinet. Um, and then, um, you know, all the storage around. Storage below the dinette here. Um, and then also there's a, I'll just show real quick, because I can't remember if I showed it in the previous video, but um, there's actually a- Little hidden storage a area. Hidden storage area right there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty neat. If you want to hide something, you can hide it in there. Although it won't be hidden now that we've shown it. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. Oh, and I know that... Um, the refrigerator. Oh yeah, here's the refrigerator. We cleaned the heck out of that. Yeah, that was dirty, but cleaned up nice. Yep, sure did. And it works great. Yeah. So let me show you the pantry. Because that's what I always do. <laughs> Here's the pantry. Yeah, pull out pantry. It's a double sided too. Actually, it, um, I guess it's about the same size as the Bigfoot's was. Yeah, let, me, let me show the other side here. See, it's got the other side shelving is on. The taller, yeah, it's got taller. So you can put taller stuff there and shorter, shorter stuff cans and, more and like all cans on that on side. This side so, yeah. and it slides in and locks. Yeah. And yeah, it locks right there. And then there's a junk drawer right here. Gotta have a junk drawer. Gotta have a junk drawer. So yeah. there's the junk drawer. At least one of them, if not two. And it's <laughs> even got a silverware with it. Yeah. <laughs> and then here's two more. Yeah, two more drawers. Two more drawers. There's a lot of storage in this camper. Yes. There really is there's a lot of storage. So it's really hard to remember everything that we've done as we go over it here. We've done so much and there's so much I know that we're leaving out. Uh, a lot of little stuff as well. You know, all this is mainly the, you know, some of the bigger stuff that, that we've done, but it's just been, uh, it's been a big project. It's been fun. It's been uh, challenging as well. <laughs> uh, but uh, all in all, I think it's been worth it. I think we've 
both really enjoyed it and it was yeah. you know fun to do it together but yeah. and uh, and to really learn all about uh truck camper because uh, it's our first one like i said so uh it's been 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 pretty cool yeah but uh, hopefully the next person uh that gets this truck camper is going to really enjoy it and they're going to be able to just go ahead and and uh, hit the road and go camping so uh that's that's good for them because we weren't able to do that but it's in great shape now and it's it's uh ready to, ready to go so so i hope you enjoy the tour and uh we'll see you on our next video with another camper see you then on runaway roses bye bye um looks really nice and so i don't like what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Hey everybody, because they the renovation tour of our tent 